morning we are going to baby's doctor appointment and look this is for three months if it's baby sophia now oh my god <laughs> just a little long right here but it's just getting there it's getting there it's getting there <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Aww. <laughs> She's getting vaccinations today. So we are bringing this. No, oh, not this one. Actually, this one. Tylenol for infant. Oh, she will be crying today. Sad. Wow. Wow. Right, my dad, can you hold your hand for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my right. God. 11 pounds, baby. That's why you're getting heavier. <laughs> <laughs> she grew. Yeah, a she lot. did. Five pounds. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, you can pick her up. Oh, okay. Right. What? Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out here. How much? How tall was she last time? At the doctor's office. Hey, like a baby. <laughs> she gained how many pounds? How many pounds? Um, I think it was four pounds and seven ounces yeah. since the last visit. So mm -hmm. like two weeks. Yeah, she's eleven ounces and well, eleven pounds and four ounces now. Yeah. Gosh, this is a big baby right here. <laughs> Pink. This nasty is going out. Hey, my leg. Ow. <laughs> We're done with the appointment. Where's this go? Does it go in here? Yeah, just put it there. She got a vaccination and she started crying. Yeah, she got big tears. She started crying. She got two shots. And something in her mouth. Yep. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh, but she's just quiet now. Yeah. Right. She's a brave baby. <laughs> yeah. Brave like mama. <laughs> she got two shots. I think I'm gonna have to carry her, or should we put her in a carrier now? Outside. Outside. Yeah. Before she starts crying. Yep, we're gonna go home now. She's gone. Yeah, my guys were home from um, to the appointment for Sophia, and oh my gosh, she grew a lot from the last time we were there. Um, her head circumference right now is 39 and a half inches, and then um, she is 23 inches long, and then she is 11.4 pounds right now. And the last time we were there, she was only 6.13 pounds and her head circumference were, was 20 inches. And then, oh no, not 20 inches. She was only 20 inches long and her head circumference was 35. So she grew quite big. And um, also we got... Um, vaccination for her we got uh, DTAP today and also we got Rotorix and the other one is Pneumococcal I think that's the one that she gave no the Rotorix I think she gave it um, orderly and then the Pneumococcal and the DTAP they gave it to her um, shots Two sheet. They gave her two shots. Sorry, I'm like talking kind of low because my my father-in-law is here. But I want to give you guys an update for today because this is a big milestone for baby. These are her first vaccinations, and I'll show you guys the yeah the vaccinations that she got. We have a copy here, so I'll show you. So she got that, and she's getting another one by March. D tab she got this one as well and this one 
that's what she got and then at four months two two months from now which is going to be four months we're getting another set of all of these vaccinations and then these are her chart growth right here um length right here look at that it shoot out from here all the way up there now so the doctor was really really surprised and then for her this is now age and her weight i think uh, i think this is the length yeah the length and then this is her weight from here she's all the way up there now oh, that's crazy and then here her head her conference from here it's all the way over there now and then for her weight for recum recumbent length um right here is all the way over there so yep so sophia is doing really really good and hopefully she won't get fuzzy tonight and hopefully she She'll forget about the vaccination or the shots today and I'm just hoping that she won't get fever or you know, fuzziness and any uh, bad allergic reactions to the shots because um, that would be really really worried and yeah we're going back um, for our next appointment on March 3rd I think yeah March 3rd and I have to ask the doctor about um, what we can do because April we are going to the Philippines so I don't know if she needs extra things for our trip because more like a vaccination or things like that since we're going on a trip and yeah Philippines is you know it's a different country than the US so uh, she might catch uh, things there that she um, she's not really you know Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, <laughs> we are gonna talk to the doctor first before we um, go on an, on our trip. But I think it's gonna be okay because there are a lot of kids that are traveling at her age. She's gonna be five and a half, close to um, six months by then, so I think it'll be okay. Oh my God, she grows so fast, so fast and so big. I am so stoked and I. Yeah, but now I'm gonna do laundry and hopefully I can uh, finish doing laundry while Sophia's taking a nap. She's taking a nap right now. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you guys. brought his toy right here and trying to entertain baby yeah baby's crying cousin is trying to entertain you yeah oh hmm. yeah he brought his toy oh there he goes oh he's trying to help you baby oh look cousin is trying to entertain you oh, he took it away oh what are you doing what are you doing you want Sophia to play with you huh you want to play with Sophia? Is that what you're trying to do? Huh? <laughs> um, Sophia's still here. We had a, the vaccination today. And oh my god, I was crazy. She was crying and screaming. She screamed a lot after vaccination. And then she was crying and screaming all day today. And I did pretty much everything. I searched online what to do. And... Yeah, I had uh, sugar water because they said sugar will help with the pain and stuff. And then we gave her a Tylenol. The doctor uh, advised us or told us so we can actually give her 1.25 ml, uh, ml of Tylenol. So we just gave her one right now or a while ago and she's knocked out. That's the third time today that we gave her a Tylenol. So we only have two left because you can only give five times uh, within 24 hours of tylenol five dosage so yeah that was so horrible and i feel so bad and all day i was holding her because uh, my arm
arms are tired. I was holding Sophia all day today. She was crying in pain. Um, the area where they um, gave her a shot, or gave her shots because they gave her two, are swollen. One on the left side and one on the right side. The one on the left side are really, really swollen. And, yeah. I tried pretty much everything, but none of them work. The only thing that worked will give her a Tylenol and then I'll breastfeed her and then she'll fall asleep. And just like right now, let her. She hasn't even been eating that much today, so I feel so bad. And hopefully, tomorrow the pain is already gone and she won't remember anything about it that's a good thing hi guys so it's the next day after the baby got her vaccination and uh we stepped good last night because we gave her tylenol we gave her um one dose of tylenol before we go to bed last night 1.25 ml but she woke up fuzzy right now she's crying because she's still in pain so I'm about to give her another dose of Tylenol. But they said not to give her um, more than five dosage in like 24 hours, I think. So far we, we've given her three. So I'm gonna give her some more. Just a second, guys. She had a major meltdown last night or yesterday. Then I gave her a bath, um, gave her sugar water, and then I nurse her. She actually lost appetite. She's not drinking milk from the bottle. She only nurse and that's it. And it's it's making me worried. Because I don't think she's getting enough milk, but she doesn't like the, the bottle nipples right now, and I don't know why. But yeah, it's heartbreaking. I hold her, or I held her for about six hours last night. Oh, yesterday. No, actually, um, since we got home, I've been holding her until night time i was able to make dinner but just because i gave her a tylenol and so she went to sleep and took a nap and yeah i'm trying not to give her too much tylenol because that's not good she can overdose for medicine because she's so small but the, actually then the doctor was the one who recommended 1.25 ml so We'll see. Hopefully the pain will go away soon because this is too much. The only good thing is we got a good sleep last night. And yeah. But it's so sad to see your baby crying in pain. It's really sad. Yesterday I was telling my husband that because he told me um it was really really hard for him to see her uh his baby crying he said that he was in pain too and he almost no he not he almost but he could actually like <laughs> hurt somebody whenever he sees his his daughter in pain and yeah in his mind he wanted to actually hurt whoever is hurting his baby <laughs> and uh, I told him that I didn't even look when they were giving her a shot her vaccination I was I was looking away I was just kissing her forehead and then holding her arms and because she was crying oh my god she screamed so loud and she's already um has trauma with doctors and and injections because she got a lot of sh not really shots but they poke her so much on the first day of her life because she had jaundice so they had to 
get blood and so now she got trauma with that and that's not really good I feel like every time we go to the doctor now she's gonna be scared she's just gonna have that fear with doctors and needles but who doesn't right um well it's really important for babies to get vaccination if it's just not important and needed i would not even give it to her because that's too much pain for her to handle with this tiny little body but we have to because we could get her sick especially now um that it's really cold outside you can get in people and yeah i don't know what i'm trying to say i mean here let me do it again especially here in las vegas that there are so many people from different states and countries come to las vegas so they could bring diseases here and then if you don't protect your baby and vaccinate your baby they could you know get sick and die from it so this disease is preventable using vaccination so you should vaccinate your baby i know a lot of people don't vaccinate their baby because for so many different reasons but yeah i would not vaccinate if it's just not needed so yeah it's so tight right now baby's still in pain look at her she's crying every time she stretches her legs every time she stretches her legs it hurts she's crying she screams of pain sorry i was bouncing for a bit she screams and she's just not that comfortable she is a little um feverish but i'm just so glad that she didn't really get a fever and i don't know i was reading something online um some of the doctors actually don't recommend giving tylenol infant tylenol to to babies before vaccination but for some reason her pediatrician told us to give a uh, baby tylenol before the vaccine the vaccine yesterday she, we were in the office or in the clinic when she told us to give it to her and she said um to give it to her yeah oh my god and she told us um uh tips how to do it like you stick the um the dropper on the side of the cheeks on both sides and then just hold the baby's head and push it push it um slowly oh my god she's looking at her oh 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 darling sorry if i could take the pain mm, i'll take it oh I'll take the pain. Can I take it? Can I take it? When you want to give it to mommy? You want to give it to mommy? She was taking it up early and look at her. She woke up so I had to carry her. And now she's sleeping again. And I'm editing vlogs right now. And yeah. I think we're gonna be like this all day today and tomorrow also. Sorry, I'm like whispering because it's just right there. <laughs> See you guys later.